Rory 75 yards from a fairway bunker, so you've got a 60 degree from a fairway bunker with nothing long. That's a really tricky shot. This is good looking. Chuck. And a different putter than he used at Bay Hill. Uh, he made everything it seemed like at Bay Hill. He's gone back to the mallet here. No doubt about it. The distance, similar hole location as well. Yeah, pretty good line just right of it. Pretty golf shot. That could help it hurt a guy like Rory. This really nice looking, just left Ian's ball. Mm. Hates it left. That's that's bad for front left pin too. And that looked like it took a huge bounce off the cart path over there, just waiting for a signal. When you're trying to hit the ball really hard, your hips fire faster. And so he's just trying to recalibrate that right now. It appears, and uh, if if he's not gonna if he's not gonna beat Poulter with this weapon, just like Robert said before, and bounce it up, you kind of feel deflated at this point, though, right? You're you're already two down. You've hit it a swimming pool. Skip and run up the hill. No, oh, dainty, beautiful. Now that should seal it. A pretty steep embankment right in front of him, trying to bump it into that. Mmm, crafty. How about that one for Rory? Just what the doctor ordered, and he'll leave himself that for a birdie. The typical gallery allowed in as spectators. All observing COVID protocols and the like. But right now, Rory McIlroy has the upper hand on the par five. He's like, whatever, let's go to the next hole, Rory. So McIlroy, despite the match, wins the par five. That'll do some wonders for the confidence. And better start fading in a hurry. That better start fading. Beautiful strike, Rory McIlroy. With nine holes to play in match play, it's uh... Very problematic, and that was perfect. I could just make it up and say, yes, it's hurting, <laughs> and take their word for it, but there is nothing. The top of the trees aren't moving, and this, wow, aggressive. Wow, is that aggressive. Aggressive, indeed. On the slope, and you've already handed the hole away. There's a penalty area along, the penalty area left. It's a little right of the hole, and that's, that's uh, low quality for Rory. Well, Ian read it properly. He's not going to miss too many of those. 33. So a couple of chances to win the hole. That one's good. Oh boy. They miss that is fire. Just Went from the right, as Robert points out, a hole that plays about a half a club downhill. That's a good looking golf shot. A little left, a little long, might even come back a little bit. Come on. Starting to creep a little bit closer, but still on the move. When these greens at regular speeds and they're a little drier, that thing's down by the hole already. In with a short iron. Uh, you know, a longer iron's easier to hold, a short iron, not so much, and this just a big, big pull. This might hit the penalty area left. Wow, that's such a fast. Will it hold its line? It will. Yes, it will. Holzer for birdie at Wish. 11, a commanding four-up lead. Ian with iron from 266. At first, I thought this was a layup, but it is not. Watch this. 
That is a big hit, albeit down the hill. And what sort of a shot is this? If Roy can answer, and he has wiped it way out to the right. That's His timing is really off, Mark. And that's in response to the shot he just hit back there on 11. It's all over the place right now. As is Rory's golf game. Go ahead and pick it up, Ian. That's got to take a seat. Take a seat. That I don't know if the French can stop that one, guys. No, it could not. Holter for par at 13, and that will do it. A resounding victory. Six and five.